Hey guys, what is up? Mike Locke here. Thanks for tuning in to this video blog. In this video, I want to go over and walk you through the a simple web design portfolio layout. Now, if you've been following my videos or you've been following me for a while, you know that I preach the importance of having a portfolio. And it's amazing how a lot of web designers don't really spend the time to work on their portfolio. Um, but having a portfolio is the most important thing, the most essential thing that every web designer needs. Okay, without a portfolio, you can't land clients. Without a portfolio, you can't land a job because no one can see your work, okay? Everyone needs a web design portfolio where you can showcase examples of your work, all right? Uh, I preach this a lot. I say it a lot in many videos. Um, but in this video, I wanna go over a simple web design portfolio layout that anyone can use and it's easy to build um, and so I want to walk you through it a lot I get a lot of email people asking me Mike can I check out their portfolio and to get feedback on you know the look and feel and, and and what I think of it now there's no right and wrong on how anyone lay out their portfolio it can be um, it can be designed in many different ways right as long as you show examples of your work but so I don't really knock anyone when I review someone's website but here is a simple layout that I like that I think anyone should use if you're just now getting started and you're not sure where to go with your portfolio this is the layout that I recommend take a look at the screencast and I uh, hope you enjoy it all right we'll talk soon all right so here is the simple web design portfolio layout um, that I'm talking about this is the one that I prefer this is a simple web design layout that I think everyone um, if you're just now starting out you don't have a web design portfolio this is something that you should go with and I'll explain to you why it's very simple it's straight to the point it highlights your work and there's nothing more to really confuse the person and to um, and it's really easy to build um, and this layout is very is very set up on a T for for a responsive design so something like this can be easily transformed into a responsive design that works on a website browser or mobile device um, but let me just preface and say this the work that you're looking at now this is these are examples of other designers I have I didn't design any of this stuff here other than the layout that you're looking at um, a lot of the work here was taken from some of my favorite web designers that you see on dribble um, so I'm just using these screenshots um, as an example I'll go over the dimensions um, and uh, but I just want to preface and say the work here this name was just I just made this name up just for the sake of this tutorial um, the work here is designed by other designers not myself I'm just using them these are screenshots that I really like that I found on dribble and I'm pasting them here as an example um, to kind of walk you through this tutorial using it for this particular layout um, but basically what you have here is a simple portfolio homepage and you have a list of thumbnails I'll go through the you have your name at the top you have your your navigation links and then you have your thumbnails clicking on a thumbnail would take you to a larger full-size view of the web design or the example that you want to show okay and then what you do is you stack your screenshots vertically okay so so as you know if I'm browsing this all I do is scroll down and I see another screenshot of the website that you're working on or that you've done and this is just a simple JPEG there is no live view I don't have to link to um, the full working version of this site it's very simple like that as a user I can use the back button to go back to the thumbnails or I can just click the work link right here that goes back to my work okay and that's it and so let me just go over um, the essentials of this particular layout one it shows your name at the top okay center bold simple okay Jonathan Smith um, that's it okay there's nothing more you need at this point and right off the bat on the home page it highlights thumbnails of your work there's nothing more self-explanatory than that if I'm a recruiter if I'm a person that is interested into seeing some of your work and you sent me to your portfolio this is self-explanatory okay the experience is very easy I know this is Jonathan Smith's website and I know these are thumbnails of his work and pretty much 100% of the user base 
in the world understands when you see a thumbnail, these thumbnails are clickable, okay? So they hover over, they see a hand, they click it, and they see a full screen view of example of your work, okay? There's nothing more to confuse them. There's nothing more to distract them. All this website is doing is highlighting your work. Um, the background is white. Um, and right over here, okay, work, the work link is what you're looking at now. This is your home link, okay, with the collection of thumbnails. And the about page is simply a page that has a paragraph about yourself, okay? And ideally, you want to have a photo of yourself on that page. That's it blog is definitely um, optional don't even go with the blog when you're starting out okay I just added that in there um, just for the sake of adding more links contact link that's the other one that's important that's essential the contact link should just have a an email um, that I can link to or a contact form okay um, and that's it so work is your thumbnail page about is a paragraph about yourself a um, couple of paragraphs about yourself, your bio, and contact contact page. Okay, so if I'm a recruiter or if I'm, if I'm a small business owner or if I'm a business person and I want to get in touch with you, that's the way I get in touch with you. Okay, but what you see here is um, basically a home page. The width of this page is about a thousand pixels in width. Okay, no more than that. And each of the boxes here. Um, each of the thumbnails are 300 by 225. Okay, that's the thumbnail size dimensions that I have here. 300 pixels in width, 225 pixels in height. Okay, and they have a margin here in between of 20 pixels. Okay, 20 pixels of space, of white space. Okay, so 300, and 300 pixels by 225 with a 20 pixel margin in between each of them okay so one two three and basically you have um, a setup where you have um, basically just three columns and this particular this particular page can scale down um, vertically as far as you want it to go okay so if you only have two two um, portfolios to start with two por two portfolio examples just have a little blank image over here as you add a third one you add one there then you add one here 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 okay left to right like that that's how you add them and then again each of the thumbnails are set up so that when you click to it it goes to the full view um, page um, of your example and just basically stacked vertically on top of each other okay um, screenshot after screenshot um, one on top of the other okay there is no need for um, you building this page when I click this thumbnail there's no need for a fancy jQuery uh, modal dialogue um, you know grayed out screen to appear to kind of zoom out and I click next 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 none of that stuff is really needed okay it's very simple have your thumbnails I click on the thumbnails it goes to a simple page with your full screen view okay that is what I consider the best most simplistic way to present your work okay one of the most simplest portfolio layouts that i really like okay and i think um, when you try to overdo it i think it really distracts people from really identifying your work as you can see simple name in bold type white space white background and then let your portfolio work your examples do a lot of the talking so to speak okay uh, one thing I, I will go over in my training course is the essentialness of laying out the actual thumbnails. This is key. Okay, a lot of this stuff I grabbed from Dribble, but what you're not seeing here is laying out your thumbnails in these different examples and, and with proper spacing and proper um uh, composition I think is key to a nice visual um, a visual appeal when someone comes and lands on your thumbnail page so I'm gonna go over that in my training course uh, if you want to learn more about that visit my website mlwebco.com and uh, but basically this is the layout let me just go over the, the wireframe with you your name your navigation links 
and then your thumbnails okay and then down below basically just your copyright your footer all right and page two this is the full view as you can see it's very simple just your screenshot stacked um, in full size view on top of one another all right and that's it thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please rate please comment like and uh, visit my website mlwebco.com for more information and always visit my website use the contact link and ask me any questions you want i'll be happy to to answer any questions for you all right guys thanks for watching we'll talk soon peace